And I believe it's the right map. Which is good. This is good news. Okie dokie. TJ spawns corrupt intervention on the pyramid head once again. Okie dokie. Let's go. Pyramid head finds a chase on to the David. I hope everyone's playing the correct uh, survivors. They are. This will be TJ. Okie dokie. Gets a hit onto TJ. A really good early chase. And with Corrupt still being in play, this is a really, really good. TJ actually messes up. Gets a bit nervous in that. And a really quick down for Hex. This is really good. We did hear a boon go down, by the way. So let's get keep an eye. Yeah, I believe it would have been Holly. And DPS is running around. And so is Muse. Nobody is on a generator. Mo nobody is on a generator right now. Okie dokie. Hex does spot DPS. DPS is moving around. Okie dokie. The chase with DPS. DPS was one of the star runners in the first game. Let's not forget, against Sully, the killer that managed to get a 4k, I believe, managed to run Sully indefinitely, pretty much, if we're being honest with ourselves. So the fact that Hex gets an early hit there onto DPS is super, super good. They do bait them out with the punishment of the damned, and DPS does get a, a flashlight stunned. A, a flashlight on to them. Okie dokie. Get some distance. Let's check up on the rest of the game. Okay, circle of healing. TJ is healing. And Holly is halfway on a generator. DPS is in chase. And so um, Muse is on a generator. Was it 3k? Sorry, Divide. Okie dokie. Does get the down onto DPS. Really, really good survivor to get down. As I say... DPS really, really did do really well against Sully. They will get hooked up. Okay, three quarters of the way on this generator. No Skirchuk in play. Okay, 95%. That's one generator done. Two people were on that. I believe Muse should be able to get it. No, Tinker is active by the Pyramid Head. Okie dokie. Big hit by Hex. One generator done for two hooks. Okay, we did just spot David as well. That David is TJ. Now it's down to Hex. Can they get another down? And let's hope Muse isn't left on hook again. We don't want to be leaving Leon's on hook. Okay, that's a down. That's really, really good. Muse does go down. Hex has got some life in them. Okay, they do get the um, the unhook. Okie dokie. Holly walking down. Goes for the repair. They're going for the heal. That's the hook. Now, what does Hex decide to do remember everything is on the line right now one of these two teams team hex or team holly will go out of the tournament after this game let's let's hope that they know that david is in chase now goes to a pallet chooses not to throw it down hex no respect to that pallet says you know what if you throw it down i don't mind i'll take it gets the early hit that pallet is down tries to bait out the demand of the punishment of the damned does a really good dead heart from TJ, actually. Okie dokie. Moving towards that pallet that they left earlier. Rights of Judgment in use. TJ has been baited out. A good, a good little swivel. I wouldn't really call it a 360. Really good swivel. Tinkerer has been active. Okie dokie. That looked like a ruin explosion just then. Let's look at the survivors. Okay, TJ running around. Holly is in chase, it would seem. DPS is going back to the generator. So is Muse. Let's go back to Holly in chase. Okie dokie. Holly, rights of judgment being used by Hex. I think that leads to a M1. No, Hex misses it. Let's not forget, Hex is playing from US servers. So sometimes swings are... Well, they should have hit, if that makes sense. Actually chooses to drop the chase onto Holly. Did they find someone else? No, they continue onto Holly. They just moved further out. Okie dokie. The, the pressure that the survivors have is quite strong. Two generators done for only three hooks. But well, all it takes is one person to go down, and then the snowball can happen. Hex is that sort of killer. They are really, really good. Let's not forget the first game, where they were really, really struggling, and then they brought the game entirely back. Okie dokie. Unlucky on Hex right there. Let's check up on the rest of the game. Yeah, they're going to drop that chase onto Holly. I think that's the right decision. TJ is running around the map. So is Holly. DPS is on a generator. I think they're about to be chased. And Muse is cleansing a Hex totem right now. We don't know what that is. Oh, no, we do. That could have been uh, that could have been Hex. Ruin. Okie dokie. DPS. Really, really good use of the uh, the closed hallways here. But I think 
Yeah. I think TJ. No, it was Muse. Muse was found down here. But that means that a slug could happen. This is perfectly reasonable because the other survivor is next to them. They can get another hit. And DPS is choosing to run back to survivor. I think they really want this flashlight save. <laughs> Hex really said, you know what? I'm just going to look into a wall. I know you're here. Never mind. DPS is still going for it. A really good attempt, but it looks like it's going to be hooked. And there can be instant pressure onto DPS. TJ is a quarter of the way. Holly is a halfway on that generator. But the issue with DPS playing like this is they are now injured and inviting pressure onto the hooked survivor. They are moving towards a boon, which is good because they'll be able to heal. But if they do go down next to the boon, that is the boon gone. Okie dokie. Hex does spot Holly. I really hope uh, Muse doesn't get left on hook this time. TJ is halfway. It doesn't look like anyone's going for the, the save onto Leon. Okie dokie. I really do hope they do. Hex is in chase. And Tinkerer does proc. And I think that's from TJ. Which means the only person that can be saving is DPS. And they are. Let's go. Leon is not going to be left on hook. Never mind. I think they just missed a skill check there, Muse. I hope DPS makes it. I think we can drop back in. Yeah, that's a save. That's amazing. Okie dokie. Hex sees some scratch marks, but can't really get any uh, concrete pressure onto the game. I thought they might be able to get DPS out of the game there, but they decided that they were a bit distracted and went for something else. Another boon has been set up. Hex does spot Holly. This is the chase. This is the survivor that has eluded Hex, really, this game. But it looks like an M1 might be possible. No, the swing goes wide. Okie dokie. I think the nerves may be setting in right now. It's always the case when you're playing killer and uh, you miss a few swings and the game starts to run away from you, you can start losing your mental. I don't, I'm not saying that that's happening to Hex, but it is, um, it is that sort of thing. Mental fatigue is a thing in this game. Does go for TJ instead. Does get a hit. That's good. That's good. That should give Hex some excitement moving forwards. Okie dokie. And also, TJ has got a trail of torment. If you saw, the terror radius in the chase actually went off for a second. That means Tinker is in play. And you can see, there it is. Explosion of the generator, minus 10% or minus 5%. I can't remember the number. But actually, Pyramid Head goes for Leon. Gets the hit onto Ace and goes for Leon. Okie dokie. Never mind. Tinker is activated again, which means Hex is in chase with Ace. Again, DPS, such a strong survivor in these loops. Look at the distance that they've got already. I'm not sure what exhaustion perk they had, but I'm assuming it was something. Muse is doing a little tickle and a hand gesture. That's always what we want to see. Sorry, let's get a chase onto Holly. Let's go. Okie dokie. Hex actually pressuring the generators right now. Only two to go. Says, you know what? I just need to press the generators. Just get the hit. But Tinkerer is likely not to save this generator as Holly just walks back in and gets it done. You can see the aura of Pyramid Head right there. Really not finding any um, constant pressure. Does find some scratch marks, but I don't know where it'll leave. I don't know where it'll lead to. Okie dokie. Really does think they're on this generator. It is almost done. DPS is on it. Goes for the swing. Does hit the swing. That sword is quite long. Okie dokie. Holly and Muse are on this generator a quarter of the way. DPS should be in chase, but I'm not really sure. No. Hex has decided to put pressure on generators again. A range attack goes wide. That is the that is the problem with Punishment of the Damned. You have to be ridiculously accurate with it. Okay. A little bit of a lull. You heard someone healing. D Hex heard DPS healing behind them. I guarantee when I click this, if there's no, there's no survivor. Yes, DPS just finished healing and was behind them. They are on this generator. It is over halfway it's with Muse. Hex is going to it though. They know. They're aware. Does try and bait it out. Does hit the Muse. Okie dokie. Do they... Co I think they're going to commit for the one kill. Yeah. Hex is going to go for the 1k. It's not the 4k that was required. But it is one way to go out. That is Tinkerer. Hex has done really, really well in this. Guys, when Hex comes in, please say well done. And please say well done to everyone else. Because I think we know where this is going. TJ is going for the door. Them opening that quicker. Do they have wake up? Okay. Hex does get attack onto TJ. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a a twist in the tail. Hex is running over. TJ does find a pallet. The thing is, DPS is around there with a um a dead hard into the killer with a pallet stun. Holy heck, that was a very brave play from TJ. 
But no. DPS is now taking Chase. Okay, they're on the door. DPS has managed to get in the middle. TJ played that ridiculously well. Okay, really good damned uh, punishment of the damned right there. They're moving over to a door. It looks as if it's had some progress on it. It could be 99. It is. Holly opens the door. Now Holly has to get in the conga train. She does. It's whether the punishment of the damned can get a hit. Goes wide. DPS gets out. And so does everyone. That's a four-man seat.